Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at connecting our host machine. So that could be your laptop running um, Windows 10 or Windows 7 or if you have a Mac and connecting that to your VirtualBox machine. So typically that could be a Linux machine that we're going to be working with today but it could be any type of other machine. The first thing I'm going to do is to start up my virtual machine. So for this example I'm just using Mint Linux, but you can use whatever flavor of Linux you want, or maybe you have a different operating system in mind, that's fine also, but this will be more tailored towards Linux users. So if you're using Mint, if you're using Arch, if you're using Ubuntu, or Red Hat, or CentOS, or any of those, it's going to be basically the exact same steps. So just letting this load up for the minute. Just close down out of those. So we're gonna load it up first just to show you what it looks like at the minute. And then when we do our change, what we want to go and look out for and how we're gonna actually ping the server. So once you can ping your server, you can go and do whatever else you want in the future, like uh, or remotely logging on to your VM or etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my terminal on my VM and let's just do pwd to see where we are. Okay, so we're, we're in the, the home directory of our user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do ifconfig um, and if you do um, ifconfig you'll see that there's a couple of different uh, IP addresses you'll see, but we have this 172.17.0.1, so you might think maybe we can ping that, or if you go down a little bit further, you can see a, a local one here, 10.0.2.15, um, and again, this is this is a loopback one, so this would actually work if you were to ping it on your host machine, but you wouldn't actually be pinging the VM, it would be um, it would be the machine itself, you'd you'd be uh, connecting to. So let's just go and pull up a terminal. So I'm using Mac, so this is uh, this is my terminal. But I'm using it might be a little bit uh, different than what you might expect. It's because it's got uh, a couple of little cool features, but if you have just the, the basic terminal, it's, it's gonna be exactly the same. So if we do something like ping and we try, you know, 172.17, dot zero dot one we try and do this we get nothing yeah so that's fine because we weren't expecting to have anything but you can see that we have these these a uh, couple of what do we have one two uh, three different IP address options but we're going to go and add a fourth one now it's going to be an IPv4 address so it's going to start with 192.168 and then it's going to be .30.101. What we need to do is we can close down out of this and close down out of our virtual machine. We can turn it off and then within our Linux box or whatever you're using we want to go into settings and then once we go to settings we want to go to network and then we want to go to adapter 3 and I'm going to enable this network adapter. Now, if you go to your adapter 3, it might have nothing in it. It might look like this, right? It might have attached to nothing, no name, nothing advanced. So you just want to copy this. So if yours looks like this, you want to enable it, and then you want to go and attach a bridge adapter, like this one, and then give it the name uh, of the internet. So I'm not going to do that and I'm going to just untick this because I've got mine here set up. So I'm going to hit OK and it's just going to save it and now we're going to load our virtual machine back up and now hopefully when we do IP config we're going to see a new address and this new address will be an address that we can connect to on our remote uh, or our, our host so we'll be able to connect remotely to our Linux machine so again just close down out of those again once you get in here and it loads up do the same command again so if config uh, 
config. So now this time you can see this address here. Now yours may be different, it may not be the exact same as this, so just double check. So use that command and check to see for your new IP address. And now what you can do is you can go and ping that. So if you put in 192.168.30.101 and hit enter, and we'll just cancel that now. You can see that we were getting data, right? So we'd say that four packets were received and 0% of the packets were lost. So this is not like what we had before when we were trying to ping this IP address here, when we had 100% of the packets lost. And if you were to use the same IP address as before, it, it also wouldn't work, right? So we can try that again, and you'll see that we can cancel it and all the packets are lost. So it's going to have to be through this IP address that you uh, like use the server. So for example, if you want to SSH onto this, uh, this VM from your host, you can do that, but you need to use this IP address. Hopefully you've gained something from the video. If you liked it, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and have a good day.